Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? How's your NCLEX review going? Again, I do want to apologize if you do hear um, noise or babies crying in the background. There are people around me, so I do apologize about that. So we're going to briefly go over my Senior Gravis, which, what is my Senior Gravis? Basically, what occurs is that your own antibodies block or destroy the acetylcholine receptors between the nerves and the muscles, right? And this can result in the loss of nerve impulses. And we do need this nerve impulses because this is what causes the muscles to contract. Therefore, that loss of muscle contraction is basically what's causing our patient, right, to have, you know, drooping in the eyes or, or difficulty swallowing. So, basically, my senior gravis is a progressive autoimmune neuromuscular disease, right? And causes a decrease in the acetylcholine levels, which will eventually cause weakness in the skeletal muscles, right? Okay. Now, drug therapy, uh, we do need to know the main three categories, which is glucocorticoids, anticholinesterase inhibitors, and immunosuppressants, okay? Now, the three main glucocorticoids that we will most likely encounter would be prednisone, dexamethasone, and corticotropin, okay? Now, what happens with uh, glucocorticoids is basically it helps reduce, uh, causes a uh, reduction in the inflammation right and the the problem the main the two main side effects the important side effects that we do need to take note is basically hyperglycemia and adrenal insufficiency okay with our patient now hyperglycemia is caused due to the increase in the insulin resistance due to the due to the steroids that that we're giving to the patient okay and with adrenal insufficiency what occurs is basically in, it applies to the negative feedback that is, uh, that is, uh, that is, that is, has the effect on the adrenal gland because now the adrenal gland will not produce enough, um, enough adequate amount of the steroid hormone, uh, obviously due to the negative feedback of the corticosteroids that we're giving to the patient, and this can be serious. So we do have to take note about this because we do have to taper the medication if this happens. Okay. Now, let's talk about anticholinesterase inhibitors. Basically, it inhibits anticholinesterase, right? That's very obvious from breaking down into acetylcholine, which as a result, obviously increases the level of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine, okay? And the main drugs that we need to uh, take note of is neostigmine, which is prostigmine, and pyridostigmine, which is mestanin, okay? Now, the main side effect that we do need to take note um, for a patient taking anticholinesterase inhibitors would be the effect that it has in the parasympathetic nervous system or the PNS, okay? And it basically slows down, slows down the mechanism, right? So main side effects that we need to take uh, pay attention would be hypotension and bradycardia, okay? Now lastly, Let's talk about immunosuppressants. Now, immunosuppressants, believe it or not, is actually the main treatment um, for my senior gravis because what it does is basically suppress or reduce the strength of the body's immune system since the person's immune system is the one creating the antibodies that eventually is the causes, you know, my senior gravis. Now, what we have to take note for our patients um, when giving immunosuppressants would be obviously there would be a reduction of the of the immune system which eventually can cause uh ca cause a reduction of resistance to infection right so our patient would be prone to infection um obviously to, due to the suppressed um, immune system now i'm just going to go over these three main categories for um for drug therapy for myasthenia gravis but i will go deeper more into myasthenia gravis in the next video um, this is it for for this is it for now, guys. I just want to make it short and short and sweet, so that you know you guys can take it in you know a video at a time. Again, thank you so much. I really do appreciate you guys coming over and watching this video. 